Hey everybody, I'd like to welcome you to Coco's Cucina. Uh, thanks for stopping by and enjoying a, a bit of your time with me. And what I do is show you how to prepare dishes. Sometimes they're quick, sometimes they're easy. Today is going to be a quick and easy uh, pizza. So um, I thank you again for watching my video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, like, comment, and share. We're going to go ahead and get right into this video. Um, we're starting out right now with the artists and the flatbread. And you normally get two of these uh, per pack. They're purchased from Aldi's, of course. And um, what we're going to do is just start out with a little tad bit of, uh, of sauce. And this is whatever your heart desire. This is totally up to you, honey. If you don't like a red sauce, baby, use a uh, white sauce. If you don't like a white sauce, don't use a sauce. This is totally up to you, okay? So I'm just going to start out by putting just a smidge of my sauce on my flatbread. Okay, y'all with me so far? This is really, really easy, quick, and it is good for like um, a family night where everybody can like build their own pizza or if you want to have like a girl's night or something like that, um, that's cool too. I sprinkle just a little bit of EVO. Um, extra virgin olive oil, especially on the bottom to keep it nice and crispy. And then the next layer, I'm going to just do a little sprinkle of cheese, just a smidge. And uh, then I'm going to go ahead and top mine off with the items that's going to require cooking the longest. So whatever you have that you're going to place on your pizza, that requires the longest cooking time or maybe not cooking, heating up time, then go ahead and place those items on there first. So mine is gonna be chicken. I have the chicken already shredded. It's already done, but you know, it will take a minute to go ahead and get it heated up. Unlike, you know, melting cheese or something like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my little chicken ever so gingerly um, on my pizza and you put enough on there to your liking sweetheart um, this is all catered to you okay nobody else and then the next thing that takes the longest to prepare are my mushrooms you know I love mushrooms and I like the big mushrooms the portobellas yeah, it's like having a double dose of chicken. All right, so those are the two items that's going to require the longest. And so now all I'm going to do is just place uh, some tomatoes that I've already had sliced. I'm just going to place those on here strategically as well. Okay, so that's strategic. I think I got one more tomato. And like if you do uh, prepping and you um, prep your vegetables and stuff up and you see you've got something that has, you know, been sitting there for a minute or two, go ahead and, and make you one of these here pizzas or something like that to use up your vegetables. Don't let your vegetables go to waste. And so my next is going to be my onions. Oh, yes, hunty. I'm not going to put a whole lot on this pizza because, you know, I get real, 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 real greedy. Um, and it just doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't because I'm really doing my very best to try to lose weight. So my last topping is going to be my um, spinach. But before that... I'm going to just go ahead and, and hit it a little bit more with my cheese. Yeah, like 
that. And uh, I'll try to pick up a much, uh, as much of that little extra uh, cheese as I can. Now, at this particular point, um, whatever seasonings you desire, um, you can sprinkle a little bit on here. I'm just going to put a little bit of just regular seasoning on here. Just to, I'm going to just hit it. You know, sometimes you just want to hit your food with some seasoning. You don't have to go over, just hit it. You see what I'm saying? So I hit it, and then I'm going to go ahead and top it off with just a few pieces of spinach, because you know all this on here, you're going to have to have something green now to make somebody think you're trying to do the right thing. You see what I'm saying? Okay, sweetness. So that should be enough right there. And what I am going to do is just hit it just one more time, just ever so, just ever so, with that EVO. And uh, just hit it just like that. And this is ready to get put in the oven, okay? And I got my oven already preset. I got that set at uh, 375 degrees, right? And uh, you're going to go ahead and set this in the oven and monitor it. Uh, you'll know when it's done. Mine usually takes about, uh, maybe about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? But this is the pizza and uh, I will bring it back once it is completely done, okay? All right, family. Thank you so much for joining me with my personal pizza. Uh, this is the results of it. I'm going to sprinkle it just a little bit with a little cilantro. Um, you sprinkle it however you want to sprinkle it. If you want cilantro, sprinkle it. If you don't want cilantro, don't sprinkle it. Okay? So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, um, share with as many friends as you can and family. I appreciate it. You know, I'm new to it. Uh, even though I'm true to it, you know, I'm true to the kitchen. Yeah, that's what I am true to. I am new to videoing. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Um, and I will see you on the, the next video. Thanks for joining Coco's Kachina. Peace, love, and blessings. All right, so this is the finished pizza. Bon Appetit. Just wanted you to see. This is my plate, and I'm about to enjoy. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate the following. And bye for now.